My name is Ben Knowles from East Coast Yacht Sales, and this is a walkthrough tour of a 1967 Bristol 39 that is absolutely impeccable. If you're a traditionalist that does not want to have a project, this is a boat you've got to seriously consider. Um, just wait until you see the uh, interior and exterior spaces on this boat. It's amazing. Um, but if you want some more information, I will provide a copy of the listing um, in the descriptions of this video so you can see pricing and other details as well as my contact information. So take a look at this video and thank you very much. So we'll start our tour uh, with the walk around on the exterior of the boat. As you can see, she's currently in a shed and standing very tall. The bottom is in excellent shape. The hull is in excellent shape. She is a uh, flag blue hull with a gold coast stripe, white boot stripe. This is a Ted Hood design. Um, she has a, a five and a half foot draft, full keel. Again, you can see the condition of the bottom of the boat, really quite amazing. Um, <clears throat> three blade fixed prop. Um, beautiful overhangs. I'll share a photo in this, in this video of what she looks like in the water. Um, beautiful overhangs with a yawl design. Really, really gorgeous. And these owners have done a fabulous job keeping her in excellent shape. So uh, we'll pop up onto the deck now. So standing up on the bowsprit, I'll do a nice pan of the boat so you can see her from the deck level. So these owners have painted not just the hull, but they also painted the gutters and the non-skid and superstructure. You can see how they're still doing some varnish work for this season. <clears throat> and you can also see the brand new Dodger for this year. The varnish work is impeccable. Here's your bow sprit. But you can just see how perfect all the fittings are. They've done just a great job keeping this boat in excellent condition. Even the window ports have been refurbished. All the hardware shows like new. Walking aft, you have a really great long cockpit here. You can really stretch your legs and lay down and take a nap in this cockpit. It's really, really nice. You can see just the beautiful varnish work. <clears throat> I've taken off, there's a cover for this console. I chose to leave these covers on just so you can see even how well made the covers are for the winches. And it represents how nice the cover is for this console as well. But even look at these beautiful woodwork with stainless. <clears throat> it really is an amazing boat. Raymarine C80 electronics. Wind, depth, and then over here you have speed, combing is in gorgeous condition. Look at this wheel here. Here's your engine. 705 hours, which is uh, redone in 2005. And then look at even how perfect 
the storage compartments are. It's not very well lit here, so I apologize, but it is perfect in these hatches. It's been repainted. Just so, so perfect. Even the Dodger is really well made with the handle. We'll take a peek at the side decks looking forward. Now let's go below. Then walking below, you can see how gorgeous this interior is. We'll take a closer look, but just wanted to do a quick pan before we head below. Off to starboard is a little nav station. <clears throat> and look at how they've just redone everything on the boat. Modern electrical systems, modern, modern uh, chargers, really gorgeous. Here's your electrical panel here with uh, AC and DC. The woodwork and cabin sole on here is impeccable. Even look at these frames. There's not a bit of corrosion on them. And these uh, glass, uh, glass windows have also been replaced. <clears throat> Even the opening window ports don't have a bit of any corrosion on them. It's a really amazing. And the smell down below here is just the light fragrance of quality woodwork. The teak down below and a little mahogany. <clears throat> Look at this detail. They've incorporated cooktop. This is an insulated refrigerator with a sea frost cold plate. Fresh, wa fresh uh, water, general storage back here. Microwave. This really has the interior feel of a much, much newer boat. We'll take a look at the engine later. Looking at the salon, you have sleeping for four. This is a Pullman berth, as is the starboard berth is a Pullman berth. There's cubby storage underneath on either side here. And then there is drawer storage right here. I love the battens that they have lining the hull on either side. Another set of drawer storage here. With a hanging locker, good size hanging locker in here. The size of this head is pretty generous given the size of the boat. And this is a, a upgraded head. I believe it was upgraded in 2010, which is a, an electric head, but really nice, generous size head, particularly for the year of the boat. And then 
forward is the master hanging locker v berth with filler cushion shelving on either side just look at how immaculate this boat is. Really nice. I'll spin around here. And from the master, you have direct access to the head as well. So you and your guests can get access without disrupting each other. Now we'll take a look at the engine. Let me open her up. So here is the engine compartment opened up. Um, to get access to it, you lift up uh, those steps and then you pull out that uh, piece of wood there to get access to this spot. And then to get access to the top of the engine, you, these steps just flip up and then you have a cover that gets removed here. Seven hundred and four hours on the engine, hardly even broken in. This will conclude the walkthrough tour of this Bristol 39. If you have any more questions or would like to get some more information, please do feel free to reach out to me using the information below. And as always, if you like these videos, please click the like and subscribe button. Thank you very much.